Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is the man coming back at it again with another YouTube video, and today we've got a ton of gameplays coming. I don't know if I'm going to separate these out. I don't know if I'll go like two today, two tomorrow, uh, but that kind of runs into the theme team situation there. Uh, you know, the Titans theme team episode situation tomorrow. So, do I push out four gameplays today? If so, y'all better help me out and leave me a like on this one. And if you aren't already, hit that sub button for me, man. It helps me out tremendously. But let's go ahead and hop into the line now. This one's going to be Kyle Vandenbosch gameplay. Now, kind of upset. You guys see a little sneak peek here. We'll, we'll have a little Lorenzo Neal gameplay today as well. Um, I'm still waiting on Bud Dupree and Janoris Jenkins to get Titans chemistry before I can do a gameplay on them. So I was like, while that is happening, we'll go ahead and do a Kyle Vandenbosch gameplay and a Lorenzo Neal gameplay, uh, and then hopefully by then, when I finish those two gameplays, Bud Dupree will get his Titans chemistry, and Janoris Jenkins will get his Titans chemistry. Uh, they did go go ahead and say they're going to try and push that out on Friday, so we don't even think we don't even know if they're going to be able to get these chemistries out to all these free agents that have signed on new teams. Uh, so, yeah, but this Lorenzo Neal, I think I'm going to put him a half back for the gameplay, and he might be very very scary. I'm just saying. But let's go ahead and go to the defensive side of the ball. You guys see, we are now a 97 overall. Full Titans theme team. We're not cheating. We don't have anybody else. All we have is Titans on this team, including the kicker and punter. We have a 75 kicker and an 84 punter. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, guys. That's To have a 97 overall theme team with just Titans players, that's really good. But you guys have to help me out. I have tried every possible way. You guys let me know if you can get Kyle Vandenbosch up to a 99 overall outside linebacker. I I, I don't know if, if, if it's even possible. Now, I've gone all the way up to run stuff at, at 50 out of 50. He still doesn't get up to 99. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I really would like him to get to 99 at outside linebacker. That would be awesome. Um, that way we could have... 99 Watt, 99 Leroy Glover, 99 Kevin Carter, 99 Vandenbosch, and 99 Curse. That would be awesome. Uh, but I just I just can't get him up to 99 for some reason. I don't know. Like, I just can't. I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll show you the stats. And, again, he, he only – I'll show you what Run Stuff does. So, Run Stuff's going to have plus 4 tackling, plus 4 impact block, plus 4 hit power, plus 3 block shed, plus 3 pursuit, plus 3 play rec. Um, also – you see, Blockshed's already at like 96 powered up, so he only gets plus three to 99. Strength is at plus. Strength is at uh, you know, 96 powered up as well. So he didn't get the full. Or actually, I guess with Brawler and everything, he does get up to 99. But I don't know if it could be a plus four if he. You know what I'm saying? So he does have 90 speed uh, with the Brawler, 95 acceleration, uh, 99 Blockshed, 96 power move, 80 finesse move. So if you guys have, um. Go ahead, if you guys can for me, do me a favor and try to go to Max Pass Rush and let me know if any of those tiers can get him up to 99. I do think that Albert Hainsworth will go down. Kevin Carter may even go down. Um, JJ Watts obviously at 99. Javon Curse probably won't go down since his Pass Rush, but just let me know if some of you guys maybe have tried Pass Rush. Let me know down below if this does get him up to 99 because I really do need him to get up to 99. That would help us out tremendously. Even though I know that Clowney will end up getting a 99, by the end of the year, uh, you know, we'll, we're pretty much guaranteed an outside linebacker that's a 99. So we could actually, uh, you know, be happy with this for now because we know we got a clowny coming soon. That's going to be a 99 overall. But here's the stats, guys. Look at this. 99 awareness is insanely good on Kyle Vandenbosch here. Um, uh, 78 change of direction is not bad at a right end. I don't know why you'd use it. But impact blocks 99 there. What a card here. 99 tackling. That's kind of what we just went over there. Low man, low zone. So... I was wondering if they're going to give him an outside linebacker card or a writing card. Um, you know, if they had ever get, get given him a card in this game. So, they ended up going right in. But the good thing about him is he gets pretty much every good secondary position for a right in. So, you got left in secondary position, left outside linebacker secondary position, and right outside linebacker secondary position. So, we're obviously running him at right outside linebacker. Uh, so, we have that secondary cam on him. Uh, and we also have the team diamond power up. You see a little diamond there in the power up on the right side of the screen there. But with that being said, Kyle Vandenbosch gameplay. Let's go ahead and get into it. I do have predictable and etched, unpredictable and etched threat on him. So let's see how Mr. Vandenbosch plays. 
Alright guys, uh, there is my top three, and let's check out his top three here. Okay, 99 Baker, 95 All Worth, 95 DK, okay. Okay team, so we should get the dub here. Let's go ahead and take care of business and get a dub. Alright, we are starting out on defense. Let's go ahead and flip the play here. And Van Den Bosch is going to be on that left side there. You guys see him right there. Okay, right there, you guys see him. All right, so let's see if we can get him screaming off the edge here. Let's see if we go ahead and get a stop here underneath. Right there. Oh, my goodness. Almost Logan Ryan. All right, here he is going under center now. Let's go ahead and flip the play. Blitz myself. Give me a little bit faster. User Van Den Bosch on the left side still. See if he can get him uh, get get home here and get the quarterback. He, he does a lot. He's running some edge protectors, so it might make it a little bit more hard uh, for him to get to the quarterback. But... We're having to make a tackle. It's going to be third and about six. Third and about okay, third and eight. So we should be able to stop him here. Force first. Uh, force the fourth down. All right, here we go. So he's going to go empty here. Van den Bosch, get home. Come on, come on, Van den Bosch. I'm going to help him out here and try and distract this guard here and make him step up. Maybe the tackle steps up to Kevin Carter over the middle. Let's send the pressure. Oh no! And he caught that. I actually, I. I tried to press down on my right stick, and then I, you guys saw the hit stick happen, and I just fell backwards. Oh my goodness! Van and Bosch didn't get in the quarterback like I want him to uh, want him to, but he does have edge protect. All right, yeah, edge protectors on his guys. So underneath, he's gonna take off Mayfield, who just gets absolutely destroyed by Rashawn Evans. All right, defense, let's go, man. I might have to make some adjustments uh, to my zones, uh, and I forget to turn my freaking notifications off, but it's okay. Over the middle. Let's get... Come on, Sam Mills. Make a tackle. Oh, God, he's got a fumble. He just took a hit stick. He just took a hit stick. All right, guys. I think I'm going to have to crash middle here. Let's pinch the outside linebackers. Here we go. Up the gut, and a massive hole opens up, and we can't get a stop. This dude's team is terrible. We still can't stop him. I'm terrible at this game, man. All right, Van den Bosch, you got to get home somehow. I don't care if he's got edge protectors or anything. Ah, I should have gone hard flats there. Over the middle. Send the pressure. Throws it away. All right, perfect. I probably want to rotate him maybe to the other side here. Uh, I'm going to go cover two here and have a couple cloud flats out there. And I'll just take away the middle of the field. Looking for anything over the middle, underneath. Can we get a hit stick on him? Yes, we can, but doesn't fumble. Gain a five. All right, so we're going to go to cover two here. We're going to go ahead and flip the play and have Van den Bosch coming off the edge here. That's what I want to have happening. Watch out for anything over the middle. Anything over the middle. Oh, he's going to be very close to that marker. I think he's just short, guys. He's going to be just short. Pinch the line. Let's go hard flats. I think I'm in cover three. I am. I'll just stay in it. Hopefully just I'm able to get a stop here. Let's see if we can hit the hole here with Sam Mills. It might be a run play. It's not going to be a run play. Drag over the middle. Drag over the middle. Baker Mayfield steps up. Fumble. Leroy Glover got it. Get up, Leroy. Okay, we're at the two-yard line. This is going to be kind of scary to get out, but hopefully we can. All right, guys. I got I to gotta show the offense off one time here. I want you guys to watch Lorenzo Neal here. Just watch him. Just watch him. Bang. Look at that block. Did y'all see that block? Opens up a massive hole. Derrick Henry all the way to the 45-yard line. But that block there is unbelievable. Something Johnny Smith would never do. I'm telling you, this is not only great for the overall, but I'm telling you, the, the, the how many times I run the ball a game, this is going to help out tremendously. All right, so here's let me just recap the last few plays here. We had a massive touchdown with Derrick Henry. It was about, I don't know, 40 yards or so. Um, and uh, then he decides to come out an onside recovery, and so I just kind of pooch kick it to the right side, and we're able to recover all the way at the six. So uh, let's see what we can do here. I might try, um, and Derek Henry just jumps over Sam Mills. I think I'm gonna try and go fullback, uh, you know, fullback dive with Lorenzo Neal here. Why not? Instead of going fullback dive, we're gonna flip the script here. A little bit of a sneak peek. Of what we could see later today with the Lorenzo Neal gameplay. We're going to have a halfback. We're going to run power to the left. Lorenzo Neal all the way to the four. Okay. I want to see if I can chew this clock out. It's third and goal at the four. A minute left. I could probably leave him with around 30 or so seconds. So I'm going to try and do just that. All right. Here we go again. We're going to try and run this just straight up the gut. I, it's probably not a good idea to have Derrick Henry 
right there trying to block for us, but we're going to try our best to get in here with Lorenzo Neal. Lorenzo Neal to the two. Okay, I think I'm going to go for it. I might go fullback dive here. Let's go fullback dive. He's going to call timeout and try to save some time for himself. Let's do. Let's go fullback dive. Guys, not going to lie, this is probably not a smart idea, but Lorenzo Neal's debut in the, in the Vanden Bosch gameplay too. So let's see if we can go ahead and punch this thing in. Lorenzo Neal! Oh, no. Well... Hopefully we can see something better than that later today. Alright guys, I've decided to come out in 3-4 uh, here and we'll try and blitz and let's send some pressure here. Let's see if we can get home. Curse or Vanden Bosch, get home baby. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Over the middle. Okay. Oh my god. 99 yard touchdown. Desmond King's not going to be able to catch him. Malcolm Butler. Okay. Oh, fumble! No way! Pick it up! Go! <laughs> Rashad Evans, are you kidding me? No way! Did he celebrate? I didn't even see, or was he just... I don't know that he had to be celebrating, right? I, can I see a replay, please? And he's gone! <laughs> Alright, guys, that, that's going to do it for the gameplay. I know it was pretty much almost no gameplay, but hey, we got a little bit of gameplay. Like I said, we're going to have a Lorenzo Neal gameplay coming out very shortly. Probably this afternoon somewhere around. I'm not going to give a time because I really don't even know. Um, but Vanden Bosch didn't really get home that much, but he did have edge protectors out there. So that did, uh, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and put everything back on Curse because I think Curse is a little bit better at pass rushing wise than uh, Kyle Vanden Bosch. So I think I'm going to put Curse, uh, the abilities back on Curse. Uh, and we're just going to have Kyle Vanden Bosch out there and hopefully he can uh, wreak havoc you know, in some future gameplay, so, yeah, and hopefully we can get an upgraded Clowney, too, that way we can put this dude back on the, uh, the defensive line, and maybe just drop, uh, JJ Watt down to the, uh, backup, so, uh, I did want, oh, actually, let's, I want to check out what he is at D-Tackle, but I will in, the, in, uh, I will after this video, but, Guys, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video, like I said, Lorenzo Neal coming out very, Lorenzo Neal gameplay coming out very soon, but yeah, let me know if there is any way you guys could, could get him to a 99 at outside linebacker because that would help me out tremendously. Uh, so, yeah, with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.